The Renault Capture Is this the future Clio given our thirst for SUVs? In this video, we are going to review the Capture, launch it from 0 to 100 km per hour, drive it both on-road and off-road, and of course, do some running. Yeah! If you haven't yet done so, please don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel for more dope content like this. First revealed in 2020, the Capture is only making its debut in local showrooms in 2023. In fact, rumor has it that the model that's sold in Europe is due for a facelift at some point next year. So underneath the hood, the Renault Capture features a punchy 1.3 turbo engine putting out 113 kilowatts of power and 270 newton meters of torque. Having spent some time with the vehicle, I can confidently say that the 1.3 turbocharged engine in the Capture is a good performer. It provides enough power for most driving situations and it gets good fuel economy. The engine is paired with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission that shifts smoothly and quickly. The model lineup consists of the Renault Capture Zen at 454,999 and the Renault Capture Intense at 499,999. All models have the same engine and power output. The Renault Capture Intense is 45,000 Rand more expensive than the Zen, and the additional 45,000 Rand gets you the following features amongst others. LED headlights with high beam assist, lane departure warning, electric handbrake with auto hold function, multi-sense experience with three driving modes. The Capture has a stylish and modern exterior design. The front end features a large grille characterized by some chrome touch finish and 3D effect. You have Renault's signature C-shaped LED headlights as you would have already seen in the Renault Clio. The bumper is also quite aggressive with large air intakes, side vents and a skid plate. In my opinion, the side profile is slick and sporty. The roofline is sloping and the bodywork is well defined. The wheels are large enough which gives the car a more blunted stance. The Capture features 17-inch two-tone alloy wheels which goes well with the two-tone white body and black roof color contrast. Mirrors are blacked out and the windows feature a chrome strip at the lower end. The stylish and modern theme at the front is carried over to the rear of the vehicle. The rear features a large tailgate and integrated LED taillights which are reminiscent of a boomerang. I must say that these taillights give this vehicle a futuristic look at the rear. The vehicle features a roof mounted spoiler and the bumper is also quite sporty with a silver plate diffuser. The boot is not electric. The Renault Capture's boot starts at 422 liters and can be expanded to 536 liters with the seats up. With the seats folded, the vehicle has a boot capacity of 1,275 liters. You have an adjustable floor at the rear which allows you to create additional storage for those things you want no one to see. Or you can use it to create a flat load bay at the rear should you need to carry longer items. Overall, the Renault Capture has a very modern and stylish exterior design. If you are like me and like to look back at your car each time you leave it, it is sure to keep you smiling every time you look at it. Before we get into the interior, let's have a look at how the vehicle drives. When it comes to off-road driving, it is important to note that the Renault Capture is not the most capable off-road vehicle. However, with its front drive system, it can handle light trails and dead roads. The Capture's ground clearance is just about enough for a small SUV. You're probably wondering why I was running at the beginning of the video. Well, quite simply put, I was just setting up the camera and running back to get into the car to take the best shot as soon as possible. When it comes to urban driving scenarios, the Renault Capture feels at home. The Capture is easy to maneuver in tight spaces thanks to its small size and good visibility. 
The capture features a rear view camera and parking sensors which make it very easy to park. However, worth mentioning is that for the same price bracket, Chinese rivals like the Haval Julian offer 360 degree high definition cameras. The vehicle also features blind spot monitoring for when you want to overtake and auto heal assist to aid you when taking off from a heel start. Some motoring journalists have complained about the door clutch transmission being jerky in slow moving traffic. I personally did not experience the jerky nature. On the highway, the capture is stable and quiet. The vehicle is comfortable and easy to control. You have safety features such as lane departure warning, which will give you a vibration should you veer off your lane. It does not come with adaptive cruise control. It only has the traditional cruise control, which means you will always have to be on the lookout whilst driving in cruise control mode. But worry not, the vehicle also comes with forward collusion warning, so therefore, should it all go wrong, the vehicle will alert you that it's about to go down. Fuel consumption for the Renault Capture is claimed at 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers. The engine of the Capture offers good performance for overtaking, and you never really feel like you are lacking power. Put your foot down and let the 1.3 turbocharged engine and EDC work together to propel you forward. While we're on the topic of performance, let us launch this vehicle and see what it's all about. I performed two runs, on the one time I achieved 9.3 seconds and on the other it was 9.2 seconds. The best time I achieved was 9.2 seconds which is better than the time claimed by Renault of 9.6 seconds. Look, the Renault Capture is not the most off-road capable vehicle, but it's a good choice for urban and highway driving. Should you ever wish to tow with the vehicle, it is important to note that the vehicle has a towing capacity of 1.2 tons braked and 660 kilograms unbraked. The interior of the Capture gives you a sense of safety. The vehicle features six airbags and has a five-star rating to back it up. Keyless entry and start-stop come as standard on the Intense model. The keyless entry system is automatic. It will lock as you move away from the car and unlock when you are in close proximity. The vehicle features interior ambient lighting. I personally like the style of the seats. The seats feature a leather and cloth contrast and I personally like the design of the headrests. You have soft touch materials on the dash. The dashboard layout looks modern and features the 9.3 inch infotainment system which is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatible. Satellite navigation comes as standard and the Intense model features the digital instrument display cluster. You also have a wireless phone charger. The vehicle features two USB ports at the front and two at the rear and an auxiliary input. You also have 12 volt sockets, one at the front and one at the rear. Rear passengers are treated to comfortable seats. This is a compact SUV, therefore you have just about enough legroom at the rear. You should be able to carry three passengers abreast, but should they be big like me, they will be cramped. I am 1.86 meters tall and with the driver's seat in my sitting position, have just about enough legroom. You can extend the space at the rear by sliding the seats backwards, but not by much. Given the sloping roof, headroom is okay. Overall, the Renault Capture features a stylish design and a well-equipped interior. When it comes to cost of ownership, with a retail price of 499999 cost of ownership will set you back 12361 With an installment of 9775 at an interest rate of 12% given the prime lending rate of 11.75% over 72 months. And a fuel cost of 1086 assuming that you'll fill up the 48 liter tank at least once a month and an estimated insurance cost of 1500 So then, what's my final verdict on the Renault Capture? Well, if you're in the market for a small compact SUV, I think you should definitely consider the Renault Capture. 
As mentioned, the vehicle features a stylish design, a well-equipped interior, and also gives good fuel economy. It also offers a comfortable ride and it is easy to maneuver and park. However, this segment and price range has become very competitive. The entrance of Chinese rivals like the Haval Jelen S, Omoda C5 and Beijing X55 offering more bang, safety and tech for your money has created some stiff competition in the market. Thank you very much for watching. Please be kind to like, subscribe and to share. Until next time. A huge shout out to Renault and Woodmeet for allowing us to review this vehicle. If you're in the market for a Renault, be sure to visit them.